Hey, what is up guys? Mess of the Reverts here, and today I want to have a discussion about the hashtag say no to the Black Ops Pass. If you guys don't know what this is, basically it's a hashtag that people are using in order to send a message that they are not going to buy the Black Ops Pass, and also they do not want others buying it either, because at this time they do not agree with what the pass has to offer, and honestly, I kind of am in the same boat too. I did not buy the Black Ops Pass because I'm not a fan of what what they are offering to players but the main and I mean the main reason that has kind of rubbed me the wrong way is that DLC will not be free for everyone now call me cheap all you want but seriously that doesn't have anything to do with this it's just the fact that all these other video games such as Battlefield, they won't be locking their DLC content behind a paywall. Overwatch, they give out free maps and heroes all the freaking time. Fortnite is always adding new and free content to the game. And I feel that Call of Duty should have taken a page out of their book and followed that same marketing plan. Because honestly, if Activision and Treyarch were to release DLC for free this year, I can almost say with certainty that they would still be making a ton of money, if not more, because if you do give out all your maps for free then more players would you know take a look at buying skins or supply drops as another medium to spend money on now you may get mad at me for pre-ordering the game but honestly i think the multiplayer looks really fun blackout sounds super duper fun i know some people are going to comment or you're thinking to yourself right now that I am a part of the issue. I should just give up on COD, this and that. Sorry, but I am nowhere near that point with this series. However, I definitely feel that change needs to be made and it does start with DLC content. But in terms of just tweeting hate and acting super toxic on social media, that is not going to solve anything. I feel that we should at least leave constructive criticism, constructive criticism, because I guarantee you that the devs and the higher ups at Activision are gonna read that kind of stuff they are looking at all that kind of uh, feedback all the time just simply tweeting out hashtags is not gonna work I mean we kind of saw the same thing happen with the black market blackout during black ops 3 and just like a few months ago new DLC weapons were added to supply drops and black ops 3 is a three-year-old game now so that did not work out too well uh, but definitely saying like I will not be buying the black ops pass on Twitter or reddit will get attention but if we actually want to change something we have to give out constructive criticism we have to let these guys know what we want and uh, so yeah that's how I feel about the black uh, about the hashtag say no to the black ops pass it definitely is a good movement but like I said in terms of actually wanting change we need to give feedback to the developers there are a lot of people out there that think the black ops pass is not gonna change everything is set in stone but that is not completely true because in the description of the black ops pass it says that content is not final and it's subject to change so guys we still do have time but that window is slowly closing we only have a few weeks until the beta rolls out and I know that they're really going to be paying close attention to everything every little piece of feedback I'm really excited to play the beta guys but still I'm kind of nervous that this next COD game could possibly go in the totally wrong direction that I wanted to go the game's not even out yet and there still is a pretty large amount of people that are hating on the game because of the black ops pass but we shall see what happens guys my advice would definitely be to play the beta, get some time in, see if you like it or not, and then see if the Black Ops Pass changes with possibly more content added or something like that, and then make your decision on this game. Uh, tell me how you guys feel about this down below in the comments. Also, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I love each and every one of you all. I really do appreciate the support recently. Uh, my channel has been getting uh, a little bit less feedback recently. Uh, my channel also did get unpopular partnered because of curse network dropping a lot of youtubers so that's kind of had me in the dumps recently down in the dumps uh but you know i'll bounce back i really am going to be pushing a lot of content for you guys during black ops 4 uh, i'm going to be uploading a lot more tips and tricks and and yeah just be ready for a ton of content coming your way guys again thank you for watching i love every one of you guys and i'll see you next time peace